Mexican actor Gael Garcia Bernal has performed in Spanish and English films like Y Tu Mama Tambien and the animated Coco. He won a Golden Globe for his role in the Amazon series Mozart of the Jungle. Gael Garcia Bernal, born in 1978, had actor parents who introduced him to the world of performing. He went on to star with Diego Luna, a friend from infancy, in the acclaimed film Y Tu Mama Tambien 2001. A native Spanish speaker, Garcia Bernal is also fluent in English and has made movies and television shows in both languages. Though his resume features some Hollywood productions, including Coco 2017 and Mozart of the Jungle 2014-18, this work isn't the focus of his career. Garcia Bernal has used his public profile to address issues that concern him, such as the relationship between Mexico and the United States and the climate crisis. In addition to Spanish and English, he speaks Portuguese. Garcia Bernal has three children. Gael Garcia Bernal was born on November 30, 1978, in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Garcia Bernal was born to Patricia Bernal, an actress and model, and Jose Angel Garcia, an actor and director. His parents separated when he was young. His stepfather also worked in the entertainment industry as a cinematographer. Garcia Bernal has three younger brothers and one younger sister. Garcia Bernal's first television role was on a telenovela, a Mexican soap opera, in 1989. He also appeared in short films. When Garcia Bernal was 17, a student strike in Mexico prompted him to travel to Europe. He enrolled in the Central School of Speech and Drama in London. And at 18, he became the school's first Mexican student. Before graduating from drama school, Garcia Bernal was tapped to star in Amores Perros 2000. The film, directed by Alejandro González Yerritz, was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film and raised Garcia Bernal's profile. At 21, Garcia Bernal landed another career-making role in Y Tu Mama Tambien, directed by Alfonso Cuarón. The road trip movie offered Garcia Bernal the chance to star opposite lifelong friend Diego Luna. Garcia Bernal later said of the experience, "When we did the casting, it felt like we had already prepared for like twenty years. It was amazing to work with your best friend like that." In El Crimen del Padre Amaro 2002, The Crime of Father Amaro, Garcia Bernal played a priest whose liaison with a teenager leads to her death by illegal abortion. Garcia Bernal was undisturbed by the protests the film generated. With the success of Y Tu Mama Tambien, Garcia Bernal had multiple offers to choose from, including ones from Hollywood studios. He opted to portray a young Che Guevara's journey across South America in Motorcycle Diaries 2004. Garcia Bernal felt a true connection to this movie, saying in 2018, "This is a story that belongs to me, a story I can tell." It was not Garcia Bernal's first turn as Guevara, as he also appeared as the revolutionary in the miniseries Fidel 2002. Garcia Bernal dressed in drag in Pedro Almodovar's Bad Education 2004 and again shared the screen with Diego Luna in Rudo Y Cursi 2008, about two brothers who are professional soccer players. In Casa de Mi Padre 2012, a comedic take on the telenovela, Garcia Bernal appeared with Will Ferrell. Garcia Bernal starred in Rosewater 2014, directed by comedian John Stewart, and Desierto 2015, about Mexican migrants trying to evade a vigilante. Though Garcia Bernal did not pursue a typical Hollywood career, he did appear in the romantic films Letters to Juliet 2010 with Amanda Seyfried and A Little Bit of Heaven 2011. Garcia Bernal directed Deficit 2007 and Chiquiros 2019. He also founded a production company and a documentary film festival with his friend Luna. Garcia Bernal had a relationship with Natalie Portman. He shares a son, Azaro B. 2009, and a daughter, Libertad B. 2011, with Argentine actress Dolores Fonzi. Garcia Bernal's relationship with Fonzi ended in 2014. Garcia Bernal welcomed another child with Fernanda Aragonés in 2021. Garcia Bernal is politically engaged and openly shares his views. As a teen, he peacefully supported the Zapatista uprising in the Mexican state of Chiapas. He used a 2003 appearance at the Oscars to voice opposition to the Iraq War. In 2017, he criticized then-President Donald Trump's plans for a border wall.